I'm just going to do a Colossus Tank kind of tutorial, um, mostly for new players, to talk about the Colossus Tank, what it does, and uh, where you can get one. Um, I've had a few people asking me um, where to get them. I had a guy message me the other day, so I thought I'd just do a quick vid. Um, I say quick, could be another 45 minute long video, but um, I'll try and shorten it down as much as I can. So, a Colossus Tank is a big tank that is used to kill a bastion, that's its primary role. Now the bastion being the big airship. If you're new to the game or you're a returning player that hasn't played for a long time, you um, you won't have noticed this, but there's actually a bastion and colossal tanks in game now. If this is the colossal tank terminal, as you can see, it's bastion terminal. Um, bastion terminal, sorry, is that's a vehicle terminal, not a bastion terminal. This is a class tank terminal. The bastion terminal is located in the building. Now, I'm currently on Hossen, it can be either outside the building or inside. Um, so, yeah, that's what the bastion ship looks like, as you can see. Now, the bastion has what's called hard points on it. With the Colossus tank, you have to hit the hard points able to kill the bastion now the hard points are located I think here a couple at the back one underneath um, two at the front here and I think one here somewhere um, I could be wrong I'll, I'll try and put a diagram up of where the hard points are now if you're new to the game um, this is what it looks like so you click it and to get um, spawn cost plus one spawn cost if you go into armory outfit armory you will see that it's three out of the possible four so you get them by being number one you have to be in an outfit number two you have to um, be officer or leader of an outfit in order to pull this you can't just join an outfit and then go pulling colossus tanks they, they won't let you also you need to to, to craft um, a Colossus tank, you need 15 purple. Now, if you look at the, if you look at the base, so you can see Nason's Defiance has a 24 to 48 um, fight going on, but it also gives you two outfit resources, gives you two purple. Now, you can craft purple. That's another way to get it. So. If you go in to, so as you can see, I've got um, an expedition going on right now. That expedition to cost me 150 green, and in return, I'm getting 150 blue. As you can see, I'm mostly maxed out, but you could do a 75, 75 blue, and you will get 30 purple. As you can see there, you get 15 purple, seven purple. So yeah. So you could you could change exchange over a period of time to get um, the purple, but to pull this you're going to need to craft it. Now it takes 30 minutes to craft. That's why we have three ready. We usually have two ready, but I randomly built one by accident. Now to upgrade, you will need to use um, merit points. Now. You're asking where do you get merit points? So you get merit points by being in an outfit. Now, every time you defend and attack a base while in an outfit, you gain merit points. Merit points can be used to buy stuff like the Fang, the Goblin. As you can see, the Goblin takes 4,000 and so on. Uh, now, I haven't bought the Goblin because the Goblin's not that good. Mostly slick with the Gecko. Um, so yeah, but um, I'll talk about more about armaments, armaments in a bit. But so you get it by getting purple from bases. Now you have to capture the base as an outfit. You have to be the leading outfit to capture it. Now, if you go into armory, as you can see, I've got 0 0.00 per minute. Now, if I capture the base and my outfit was was the lead capture you would have um 
it would be one point something probably um, as a guess it would say how much per min you gain so um, that enables you to uh, you know um, save up 15 and buy a colossus tank now bastions are the same you have to craft a bastion in order to get it now i'm not going to go into that i'll save that for a separate video but you have to craft a bastion so they cost per day you have to you know have to research so 12 12 hours 12 hours 12 hours and then you you get an hour to craft a bastion after you've crafted all these and bear in mind that it costs purple purple's expensive resource it's not something you're going to come across as you can see there's only one purple base on the whole map i think i could be wrong actually i think there's purple down here maybe I don't know where there's purple other than the mid but yeah so I think there's only one purple base but regardless um, you have to get the purple base and then use it to build a, a Colossus Colossus takes 30 minutes to build and yeah so what is a what is a Colossus tank used for most of the time it is used as a um, bastion hunter it can kill bastions now you have to hit the hard points i'll talk about that more um i'll talk about that more in a separate video probably if if i can if i can take a video of me actually shooting the hard points but for the most part you'll see the hard points on the side now a cross tank has two main guns it has uh, the bastion killing gun and a normal gun now, i'm going to just nip into vr real quick and I'll explain, um, I'll explain about it in more detail. Now, if you didn't know, if you click the uh, map icon and you zoom straight out, you will come to this. You can click VR, go into VR, and you can view any any vehicle in there. You can view anything. You can view Sunderers, tanks, any weapons. You can you can look at cosmetic items. Um, they're all they're all free and you can just pull them and use them and just check them out it's a kind of try before you buy type of thing especially if you're spending real money like daybreak and you could try on some cosmetics see what you think so if you come down here you will see that there is a colostank terminal there you go now there's two things a colostank can do um, it can kill it can kill other tanks really easily depending on what you have on it and it can also shoot at the bastion bastion being the primary role um, you can go against armor columns with this really useful so um, armaments wise and and slots let me just talk about slots first so to, to upgrade these slots these cost merit points every time you attack and defend a base you will see that you gain merit points. Now you can gain 300 merit points, you can gain 50. Just depends on the base and depends how much, I think, how much effort you've took into defending a base or how much points you've accumulated over the time being there. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, I know that sometimes I gain like 300. Some get, Sometimes I gain like 50 merit points. But yeah, so if somebody attacks a base um, and you're trying to defend it if you if they start taking the cap but then the cap doesn't get taken and you take it back it will say that you've defended the base so um, it will say I don't know what it will say but it would say you defended and it will give you some merit points now merit points they accumulate over time and you're able to buy stuff with merit points now I've talked about this in other videos but um, for this I'm just going to go into cloth tank so you can you can add to these now, um, I'm just going to talk about this first slot. So you've got fire suppression, really good. I, I I mainly run fire suppression when I'm killing a bastion. I don't know. I don't know. I just find it really useful. Mass accelerator drive. Now, mass accelerator drive. It's good for killing vehicles. You can kill tanks with ease. Activate. So to to activate this, it costs cortium. Now, cortium. I'll show you what a cortium. Um, like an, um, a, a bunch of cortium looks like to get cortium you're going to need an ant this will help you to farm 
cortium. You can farm cortium and you can give the Colossus tank cortium. Now, the cortium keeps the shield up. He has a shield around him. When the shield is being bombarded, it will waste cortium. If you have a ant, an ant will be able to give him cortium while under fire, which will keep him alive a lot longer. Um, I'll explain about the shield in a sec. But mass accelerator drive takes uh, when, once activated it basically takes 500 cortium and for the next 15 seconds shots will do 30 percent more damage 32 percent more damage so fly they will fly 50 percent faster so that's projectile wise and they will pierce vehicles so they'll go through one vehicle and hit the one behind um, each shot however will overheat the weapons cooling system inflicting up to 500 damage on the crosses so this means that you would need to have a repair sundi now a repair sundi um, if you go into sunderer and you look at it like this let me just uh, so what is it nanite proximity repair yeah so if you look at it nanite proximity repair let's let me pull one real quick you will see on the side you have a repair symbol this is called a repair sundi this will enable you to repair the tank just by being near it you don't have to do anything you just take the sunder and near it and you will be able to repair it now that's good that's what you're going to need if they're pulling a colossus tank and they're using something like the mass accelerator drive which deals damage to your tank now um, moving on we've got courtium recycler so courtium recycler i find is important it's important to keep the shield up now courtium recycler only works when you're not in um when you've not got the shield up so I, i'll explain about that in a minute um, but courtium recycler will give you courtium over time as you drive around um, this doesn't really um take away the need for an ant you still need an ant because when you're under fire and you have your shield up, you're gonna need an ant to give you cortium. Somebody said you need around two ants to give you cortium in order to take a bastion down. Um, but I know that cortium cycle is useful. It's useful sometimes when you're just driving around and you need cortium and you don't really need an ant. Um, but most of the time you need an ant. Now improved cooling systems. Improved cooling system will stop basically when you're firing primary weapon like MAD or you're in Skylance battery, you will um, take damage over time. With improved cooling system, you won't take as much damage. Um, Skylance battery mode by 50%. Um, so when you are deployed in Skylance battery mode and MAD, it will, it will reduce it by 50%, 50% damage. This thing as well, Colossi, uh, Colossus Auto Mobile Station. That's like having a mobile spawn point. It's kind of like a Sunderer when it's deployed. So a Sunderer being that thing over there. When that's deployed, people can spawn on it. Um, you're able to um, change your class and stuff like that. This is what the Colossus tank is capable of. It's capable of having um, a way to change your class, which is the mobile station, advanced mobile station. Now moving on, you've got to, uh, bolster bombardment shield. Now I always run this. Most of the time, I'm killing a bastion. Um, I don't go around hunting tanks in this. There's just no point. Um, tank zergs, they do happen, but it's not as common on series with series being, you know, not being as busy. You know, this might be useful on more, you know, on servers with more population to kill tanks. I mean. Um, bastions by all means that's why I pull one you know to go into bastion um, but most of the time to kill tanks I don't really pull this um, I don't see a, I don't see the point in it but bolster bombardment shield is what I use normally now I use it because obviously I'm killing a bastion when a bastion is bombarding me with um, its main guns I'm able to you know take in, you know take some damage to my shield it increases the bombardment shields base damage resistance by 50% to 60%. So, yeah, so it gives you damage resistance, which is nice. 
Um, fallout hardening. Um, fallout hardening reduces the damage taken from orbital strikes. Yeah, so you could run this. This is not bad either. Um, I do have it maxed out. The enemy will dump um, orbital strikes on you when you're in your Skylance battery mode. Now, with Bolster Bombardment Shield, normally I can tank an orbital strike when I've got um, when I've got it open. But still, um, it's good to have Fallout Hardening. Now, Insulated Armor Plating is something that you won't have. It's the campaign only item, and it's made for when on Esamir when the storm hits. Now, the storm never hits because it's serious, with too low population for that. So this is completely useless, but yeah, I just had to explain that. So if you don't see it, then don't worry about it, just ignore it. Um, it's, it's a campaign only item and it's useless anyway. So then our auto repair is actually pretty useful as well. But, I, but over these, I, I would rather take the bolster bombardment shield or the fallout hardening. One of these is really good. Now, to, uh, these are weapons that you can have on the Colossus tank. Now, the Colossus tank has four slots plus the driver. Now, the driver is the gunner. So, um, you're basically doing two things. You're gunning and driving. You can have up to um, four people in your, you know, four extra people to man the guns. Now, when you're driving a Colossus, it's always a good idea to have a loadout, a driving loadout. So I would recommend if you manage to get it. Now this is a rare implant, but I would recommend having logistics specialist. Very good while driving a Colossus because you can, um, people can spawn on you. Now this is a rare implant. So as a new player, you're not going to have this, but I'm just going to put it out there just in case you come across it. Very useful, but generally, as a new player, you want to be putting points into ammo printer for vehicles. Very useful. Now, you're going to need ammo printer for this particular vehicle because it has four guns on it. You're going to need to get ammo to all four guns. Now, to use ammo printer, you're going to need to be the driver, I think, of the gun, of the, of the tank, and able to give ammo to all four guns. Now, it's not OP by any means, and you will still run out of ammo while um while using a uh, colossus tank you'll still run out of ammo but generally um having this is useful you know um it'll stop you from losing too much ammo now there's another implant as well that that's really useful just try and find it uh yeah sweeper hood now sweeper hood's good because um if anyone puts mines down in front you can see the mines that that's something i would recommend um, I don't think counterintelligence works in vehicles. Works in vehicles, Max. Yeah, so you could have counterintelligence. Um, but again, it's another rare implant. I would rather take logistics specialist. So I normally take logistics specialist and ammo printer. Because um, mines don't affect me that much. Now, you might put mines down. I might hit the mines. But um, if I've got a good crew with me, they can usually heal me back up. Um, it won't kill me in one shot. But sweeper hood is useful to spot mines and other things that people like deployables that people put down so yeah so i just thought i'd explain that real quick so um guns wise when you go to a colossus you can have up to four guns now generally i just pick geckos on all of mine um i just i just put geckos on everything apart from um the last gun which is usually um i'll put anti-air now on all four guns, you can have one anti-air, which is the Dingo ML. And it's only on one slot. So I tend to run it. This is like um, you fire it at an airplane. Um, what airplane? You fly it at um, a Reva or something flying in the air, and it will lock on, and it will chase them, kind of, at close range. You can't aim across the map with this, and it will hit people a, a mile away. But it will lock on to close air targets. Now, I'll explain about that more in a bit. Now, to upgrade these, these also cost merit points. Now you can't really upgrade them. You can't buy anything for them um, of yet, but you can buy stuff like, as you've seen earlier, I could buy the Goblin. Now, the Goblin is pretty useless. It's an anti-infantry weapon. Um, I find the Geckos are really good because they they can shoot anything. They can shoot vehicles and infantry. 
Um, the Fang and the Pug, they're more anti-tank weapons. Um, these use heat shells, can, can hit heavily armored targets, and the Pug is light anti-armor capabilities with direct hits. Um, you can kill infantry with these, but generally they're mostly, I find them for killing vehicles. Now, I'll keep this set up just to show you about each gun. Um, I'm going to put um, mass accelerator drive, I'll put that on. Quartium, I'll put Quartium Recycler on for a minute, just to show you. And um, I'll keep the... I'll keep the nano... Oh, actually, I'll keep the bolster bombardment shield on, it doesn't really matter. Now, this is what a gloss tank looks like. As you will see in the corner there, I am currently gaining Quartium. Now, as you can see, um, I have... You can get 12000 max Quartium. Uh, that's the max. As you will see, it's slowly going up. Now, the Quartium, if you look, this is the shield around the tank. This is what you use to shoot down a bastion. Now, as you can see, my Quartium is not going up anymore. This is because I am in Skylands battery mode. Now, to get Skylands battery mode, if you go into passive skills, so my character, passive skills, you deployment Skylands battery. Now you have to buy this, I think, with merit points. I could be wrong, I think it's merit points. Um, so put points into this. Another good thing to put points into is Quartium storage and starting Quartium. I think there's another thing here that enables you to find Quartium. Um, at further distances. This is for ant drivers, but starting Quartium and Quartium storage. Now, as you can see, since going into the menu and coming back, I've not gained any Quartium. Even though I've got Quartium Recycler on, this is because you have to be out of Skylands battery mode in order to gain um, in order to gain Quartium. Now, as you can see, I'm, I'm currently getting Quartium. Now, if you drive around like this. Um, the tank is quite big so it'll get stuck a lot thing to note but another thing to note is it I've got the mag protection system enabled now the mag protection system takes quartium to use it, it, it consumes 500 quartium now if you've got quartium um, if you've got quartium recycler you will gain it back in no time by just driving around so I'll activate the mag system as you can see activated by pressing down on the keypad and you fire it and it will do a lot of damage especially to tanks as you can see does a ton of damage now it obviously is on cooldown right now but um, it does do a ton of damage and it's really useful against vehicles now you have to note that in the corner there you'll see the health of my colossus tank my Colossus tank right now is quite low on health. As you see, it took a bit of damage. So you would need to have you would need to have a repair Sunday near you. This is important. So um, things to note when using the, the, the Colossus tank is it gets stuck really easily. Um, another thing to note as well is that you can use the main gun. Um, even though it's in the air, if you go on a on an incline like this. Go on a decline, sorry. You can use you could use it to bolt bombard vehicles like that. As you can see. You could do damage like that. Now you need to have um, a repair something near you. Otherwise you're gonna eventually die or you're gonna get really low health. Now I'm just gonna talk um, briefly about um, stuff on it so as you can see here you have guns you have four guns this being the um, anti-air gun um, I think I think that one's the pug on the right side I'm not too sure I'll have to have a look in a sec but actually I'll just take it over here and 
So, with this, you have guns, four guns. So you do a ton of damage to vehicles. But really, I don't tend to use this that much because most of it's lob shot. You have to be good at aiming, like here. If you shoot at long range, this is good, but this, I don't use this one. Because this is more of a lob shot. And it only has three rounds. So let me go into vehicle real quick. Colossus and see what I've got. So I think that one's the pug on that side. Uh, the fang is on the other side. So pug. I think I'm currently using the pug. But either so, I just tend to use this. This does damage to vehicles and damage to anything really. Maxes, infantry. Just all round good really. If you've got three of these on your vehicle and they're all shooting at the same target, they are actually pretty effective at killing vehicles. They will burn a vehicle down eventually and kill it. Now this uh, thing on the back, um, if you go to this, this is anti-air. Now um, you're able to shoot air. Like that. Now this doesn't have good elevation. It's mainly used for the air to protect your coal. But you will have lock-on missiles. So if you shoot near a target like that, it will lock on. like that so generally I always pick the geckos I don't tend to go for anything else I tend to leave stuff like this off really I tend to put the anti-air system on because it can be useful against mosquitoes and scythes so yeah so I'll just um, I'll just drive back and I'll just show you some other stuff so this is generally what setup I would go for I would use the Courtian recycler I would use Skylax battery and um, I'll use, um, let me just have a quick look. So yeah, I will use, um, I won't use mass accelerator drive, I'll usually use fire suppression, that's what I meant to say. But yeah, um, I don't always use the MAD system because um, I don't really go around killing tanks. Normally, if a Bastion comes to a fight and he's blowing up everything, then I'll I'll say, you know, we need to pull a Colossus tank. And I'll just go and primarily focus the Bastion. And then I'll ditch the Colossus tank after. Sometimes. Not all the time, but still. So, um, I'll just put on... So here you've got um, Fallout Hardening, which will be... For orbital strikes i can't actually show you that because i'm not going to orbital strike myself but i'm going to put um colossus advanced mobile station on um i'll put fire suppression on and i'll put uh, nano auto repair just put random stuff on just to show you so um, fire suppression is the same as the mad system if you click down you will start healing yourself over time um, if you click down on the D-pad. As you can see, I'm no longer gaining Cortium. That's because I don't have the Cortium Recycler. Um, another thing as well, when you're in Skylax battery mode, you will see at the back of the tank, there is a place to change the class. So you can change the class, just like you can on a Sundra. People can spawn on you as well. Pretty useful when taking a base. Um, but generally, yeah, you would use it for killing a killing a Colossus. You wouldn't really use it as a mobile spawn system, really. Um, generally, I'd run fire suppression or the MAD system if I was killing vehicles. Quartier Recycler is pretty good. I would recommend you have it in Ant. So for armor, convoys, I would recommend having an Ant to give you Quartier. I would recommend getting a Repair Sunday. And I would recommend getting a ammo something. 
So let me just click this real quick. So Sunderers wise. Earlier I had the Nanite Auto Repair, um, Nanite Proximity Repair. And you really need an ammo Sunday for the guns. If the if the people in the guns on the on the sides are non-stop firing, you're gonna need ammo. Um, but generally you want to run these two to back up a Colossus. So if you're a new player and you see somebody pull a Colossus, feel free to pull either one of these. Um, they'll be really grateful. Even if you have level one proximity repair or level one ammo vehicle dispenser, they are really useful and really help support the Colossus. So yeah. So I just thought I'd give you that, um, do a video on the Colossus. I've had a few people ask me questions about it oh wow can we can we pull a colossus and it's like mm, not really a lot of times on series the fights aren't that busy so pulling a colossus um from my own outfit is pretty pointless if there was a lot more population on it would make more sense um but as of recent there's there's no really reason to pull one we do pull one to kill a bastion sometimes um and we we have had we've had some success but again there's other things you can pull like air you could pull air to kill the bastion you don't necessarily need to pull a colossus tank but they are fun and it is something in the game that's that is really good good to have um when you need it so i hope this explains it for new players um if i didn't explain anything in the video then feel free to comment in the comment section i do this out of my own free time um i don't do youtube full time but yeah, any questions, stick them in the comments. If you see me in game, my name is Commando. Um, as you can see there, Commando. Feel free to drop me a message if you have any questions. If, you, if you're a new player and you're trying to get into the game, you know, it's rough, you know, don't worry about it. Keep playing, you'll get, you, you'll get the hang of it. So yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there and I'll see you soon.